This is WENY News. Hey everybody, thanks so much for clicking on the webcast. I'm Ross DiMatte. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. We have an update on a new Elmira business we told you about that got burglarized, and it's good news. Haskins Garden says the Elmira Police Department has recovered and returned items stolen from the business over the weekend. Two generators were taken from the family-owned shop that is set to open up next month. Haskins Gardens is located on College Avenue. It will sell things like plants, trees, and items for landscaping a home or business. It will open up on May 4th. New York State lawmakers and the state's United Teachers Union both say they support the state's education department's plan to delay the implementation of new teacher evaluations. But Governor Andrew Cuomo's office doesn't agree. This week, the Board of Regents Chancellor Merrill Tisch directed the education department to move the November 2015 deadline to September of 2016. This would give school districts more time to approve new teacher evaluations. But Governor Cuomo's counsel, Alfonso, D Alfonso David, excuse Excuse me, is urging Tish to keep the original deadline, saying a delay goes against the law approved in the state budget, which links the deadline and completing evaluations to increases in state aid for schools. A recent report shows potentially hazardous microbeads are passing through waterways in 17 New York counties, including Tompkins County. Now some state lawmakers are working to ban microbeads in New York, but some technicalities in the bill could make things difficult. According to the Star Gazette, the state assembly passed the Microbeads Free Water Act yesterday to ban all plastic microbeads in personal care products. Senator O'Mara originally introduced an identical bill in the Senate, but he changed the bill to ban only non-biodegradable microbeads. The new bill leaves the door open for biodegradable microbeads to be allowed if they are eventually developed. The definition of biodegradable has been questioned by several lawmakers, including Senator Brad Hoylman of Manhattan, who argues, quote, plastic microbeads that take thousands of years to break down are not micro biodegradable. Corning Community College is celebrating the importance of liberal arts and sciences this weekend with their Discovery Day event. It features a keynote presentation from Gandhi's grandson, Arun Gandhi. Arun will share his story of growing up in South Africa, facing racism, and the lessons he learned from his grandfather as he tries to carry on Mahatma Gandhi's legacy of nonviolence. Faculty from multiple CCC departments will also give hands-on presentations and there will be music, dance and poetry performances. The event will be held at CCC in the Commons from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. All right, now let's send it over to meteorologist Craig Flint with a look at today's forecast. Hey, Craig. Hey there, Ross. Good morning to you and good morning, everyone. As we look ahead for you today, well, you know, we only hit 42 degrees yesterday and I think we will likely stop again today in the 40s which is below normal and we factor in a northwest wind 15 to 25 miles per hour so that 45 will probably feel more like the 30s uh, through the course of the day today. Now we have some snow showers that are kind of uh, moving their way through the region this morning. They exit and then a little bit more in the way of sunshine should occur for the afternoon. There you go, below normal weather across the northeast to start out. These are a kind of a snapshot of some early morning temperatures um, and uh, you can see how the jet stream is behaving. We kind of got a little bit of a ridge here and then it takes a dip and anytime that happens it opens up the gates for cold northwesterly winds to funnel south and that's exactly what we have this morning and through today for you and with those cold northwest winds moving over the lakes we're picking up a little bit of lake moisture. South of Lake Ontario, you can see this kind of mismatch and mix mash of snow showers and flurries. But notice to the west, we have clearing skies, and that will become our weather as we head into the afternoon. Skies should clear as some drier air arrives here this afternoon with high pressure building in. So there's your snow showers moving away through the course of the day. Finish of the day will feature the brightest skies and temperatures again in the 40s. So uh, below normal, we should be near 60. Overnight tonight, sky's partly cloudy, and we should dip down into the 20s. So a below normal start, and temperatures will recover a little bit on Saturday. But if you're heading to Denison Park in Corning for the March for Babies, in the morning you're going to need a jacket. 
Uh, and then during the afternoon, I think a little bit more sunshine should occur and actually a pretty good deal of sunshine through the day Saturday and high Saturday should make 50 to 55. Then on Sunday, skies become partly sunny and temperatures 55 to 60. Scattered showers Monday and a little setback temperature wise 52, but more sun Tuesday 57 and southerly winds blow us into the 60s as we head into Wednesday. Partly sunny 65 scattered showers and 60 on Tuesday. Have a good weekend, Ross. Finally back into the 60s. Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5.30, 6 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Ross DiMatteo. Have a great weekend, everybody.